Today, Donald Trump met with former General David Petraeus and also former head of the CIA who left in disgrace. For many of the same issues, the people were calling for the incarceration of Hillary Clinton. David Petraeus also dodged the bullet, not to the extent that Hillary Clinton did. No, he got charged with a misdemeanor. And actually, he is under probation for a couple of years. So it brings up an interesting point if Donald Trump were to pick him. And of course, the reason this has surfaced is because we've seen back and forth two camps within the uh, Trump transition team. Uh, the two names that have been put forward prior to this were uh, Rudy Giuliani and Mitt Romney. And of course, there has been a massive pushback against Mitt Romney by the people who elected Donald Trump. Is Petraeus better? We see, as it's reported today from Bloomberg, President-elect Donald Trump met with retired General David Petraeus Monday as a senior official with the transition team, said the former CIA director is being considered for Secretary of State amid open infighting among Trump's advisors about who to pick for the post. And then Trump tweeted out, just met with General Petraeus, was very impressed. Yes, you should be very impressed with David, with General Petraeus, and you should be unfavorably impressed. And we're going to tell you why, but go on to say that uh, Petraeus, a four-star general, I would say actually he's a suck-up opportunist. He is a globalist leader, and we'll tell you about that. He left government under a cloud for sharing classified documents during an extramarital affair. He told reporters, however, that Trump showed a great grasp of a variety of challenges that are out there and some of the opportunities as well. So a very good conversation, and we'll see where it goes from here. This guy is the Grimer worm tongue for the globalists. He is the new Kissinger, the new Brzezinski. We should avoid him like the plague. And like, I have to say that if Donald Trump picks David Petraeus, either wittingly or unwittingly, you're not going to see Americanism. You're going to see globalism. And we'll tell you exactly why. When I say General Petraeus is a committed globalist, remember back in February of 2015 when he made the very interesting statement writing in an op-ed piece for the Washington Post Petraeus said, together with Canada and Mexico, the U.S. has a competitive advantage in geopolitics. He said the 20th century was the American century. The 21st is poised to be the North American century. Many of us understood at the time what he was talking about was NAFTA and the North American Union. This guy is a committed globalist. He is at the center of the Bilderberg Group. He is a Wall Street crony capitalist with uh, KKR. He has supported foreign interventionist wars, the total surveillance state bragging about how the Internet of Things is going to spy on you when he was a CIA director. He is a gun control advocate over and over again. We see that uh, General Petraeus is someone I believe will betray us. And as he goes on, he talks about how climate change is a national security threat. And this was repeated by U.S. News saying global warming poses one of the greatest dangers to the U.S. and its allies long before John Kerry was saying that climate change was an equal or greater threat than ISIS. David Petraeus was saying this. So if you think we're going to stop the climate change madness, if you think we're going to stop the climate change treaties that are key to globalism, think again. As a matter of fact, why not just keep John Kerry? Because he's the one that thinks that uh, climate change, global warming, is equivalent to ISIS. Just keep him there. We don't need to move him out of the office. He already knows where the car is and the keys to the office. Meanwhile, we see that not only did uh, Petraeus meet and support Clinton during the campaign, but we saw about a month and a half ago that there were 1,000 of the 30,000 missing Clinton emails were between her and General Petraeus. Now, when he was head of CENTCOM back in 2009, Hillary Clinton sent him messages saying, just email me these uh, documents on my private server. She said, uh, if there's ever anything you need or want me to know, Please use this personal address. All the best, Hillary. And as he was head of CENTCOM, he sent about 1,000 emails that we can see on the log of CENTCOM, but they're not in the Hillary Clinton list. So it looks like David Petraeus is equivalent to Hillary Clinton. We might as well have put Hillary Clinton in as Secretary of State as Barack Obama did, or just keep John Kerry there so he can promote climate change. Either way, David Petraeus is going to be running the opposite direction of Donald Trump and Donald Trump's voters if he is Secretary of State. And that's a key thing. He's going to fight Donald Trump on the treaties. He's going to fight him on the war issues. You think our information's hardcore? 
You think our focus is brutal? Try our nutraceuticals. Try our supplements. We've taken Brain Force and made it Brain Force Plus. Now a 20% more in the bottle and an even more hardcore formula. You owe it to yourself to get these products. They really have worked for myself, my family. They have five star reviews by the thousands. Secure your Brain Force Plus today at InfoWarsLife.com. Now 20% stronger. Again, InfoWarsLife.com.